saw a rise on that batting average leaderboard because he's been putting the ball in play and getting himself some hits as he does right here a one hop off the wall in right center. That'll be a two out double for a rise. All in one. Yeah. What do you have. What do you have over at the varsity. Arise will have himself extra bases into the corner. Now this will be uh, maybe even three. Got to that perfect spot in the third base with a triple. Throw that change up four times in a row on occasion. In the air, deep left field, going way back, and that's gone. A home run of the opposite field for Luis Arise. What a night! His third extra base hit. For the first cycle in the history of the Marlins, the last team without one. Long look, pitch clock down to one, and that is going to get down a base hit. The first cycle in Marlins franchise history, Luis Arise. Good fastball slider combination. Cedric Mullins sizzles one into right field off of a fastball. Thrown hard and hit harder. Orioles second hit. Mullins right center field. That ball's up the alley. That ball is going to be extra bases. Maybe three. Cedric loses the helmet. He's going to go to third. And he's in there. Let's get wet. His head first. Mullins right field. Base hit. Extra base hit coming. He's already got one triple in the game, and this time he'll hold at second with a double. And Cedric will start the sprinkler. Oh, in the right field. Mullins, did he do it? Yes. Yes. Yes, he did. It's a tsunami. Cedric Mullins. Completes the cycle. That ball's hit well out to right center field. Going back is Paven Smith. Back to the wall. He is out of room. It's gone. A solo home run for JT. It breaks an 0 for 10. And the Phillies tie it up at 1. Well, T Mac, he got his timing down on that pitch. 2 0. Swung on, driven left center field yeah. and deep towards the gap. This ball is going to be off the high wall. It's in play. One run is home. Castellanos coming home. JT on his way to third. He's got a stand-up triple. He's driven in two more. And a liner out to left center field. That'll be in for a base hit. Well, he's three quarters of the way to the cycle. All he needs now is a double. That one's out toward left center field. Going back on it is Carroll. It's over his head. And it's off the top of the wall. JT will pull into second base. He's got a cycle. It's the first one for the Phillies since 2004. That is blitz to right center field. Off the top of the wall. De La Cruz storms up to second base. He nearly had a home run by inches. Pitch. First pitch in the air to right. Acuna back at the wall. Gone! De La Cruz does it again. One, two. Broke his bat. That's in the center. Base hit. Windmill on McLean. Harris in center. Lob to second. McLean slides home safely. India over to third. De La Cruz. He is a triple shy. Three for three. And the Reds within one. Reds team is going to have a lot of scoring opportunities. De La Cruz right center. Down base hit. Could he go three? India on third. India scores. It's a cycle. From everywhere at Fenway. <laughs> oh. Knew that was coming. Great. Altuve sends one to center field. This one all the way back to the wall. It's going to bounce off the base of the wall. Altuve will head to second. And he will get there with a leadoff double. Jose Altuve picks on the first pitch he sees in the third. Altuve hooks one past Devers in the left field. That'll be a leadoff hit for Altuve for the second time. He also let off the third with a base hit. And the Astros have a runner on with nobody out. 
First pitch swung on drill deep to center field all the way back near the wall. It is off the wall. Yadier Diaz is going to score. Jeremy Pena is going to score. Jose Altuve is going to get to third. Astros retake the lead. It is five to four. Altuve a two RBI triple. Three for five batting for the sixth time. And Altuve sends one high sends one deep sends one into the Boston night. 13 to four. Hit number four for Jose Altuve, and he hits for the cycle.